Hi everybody, Smeep here, and this is another episode of From the Game Throne. In this particular episode, we're going to be focusing on how to get the Benevolent Leader achievement in Fallout 4. I'll be playing on the Xbox One. This should also work for the PS4 and the PC version, depending on what patch you've got. The reason I've decided to make this video today is because although there's plenty of information out there on how to get the achievement, there's not a lot of information on the little details that can go wrong and stop you obtaining the achievement. So I want to try and put that all into one place so you've now got a one-stop shop for all the information you'll need to get this achievement. Please note this is not the only method of getting the achievement, but this one definitely works. I've tried it and tested it myself, and it does take quite a bit of time. So please make sure you've got yourself some time spare to get the achievement done. Once I'd got my settlement to about 80 happiness, it took about three to four hours after that point before the achievement popped. There may be faster ways to do it, but I'm just going for the guaranteed way to do it. Okay, so the things that we're going to need to get this achievement are any settlement, 20 settlers, which means you're going to need 10 charisma, medic, level one, local leader, level two, cap collector, level two, and 240,000 caps. Now that is an overestimation, assuming that you're gonna build the most valuable shops. That way you've got spare to play with. Just a quick one before we begin, make sure you dismiss any of your companions to other settlements. They only get in the way and cause problems with the happiness meter. Okay, so first you're gonna to need to pick your settlement. I chose the Starlight Drive-In, mainly because it had a lot of space and made it easier for me to manage and work. Some people have reported that using a smaller settlement is more effective. That's completely your choice. Like I said, there's more than one method to getting this achievement to pop, so I'll leave that up to you. However, this method, like I said, works. The first thing you're going to need is to build 16 tier three stores. Now, don't bother building the armorer or the weapon shop. It does not affect the settlement happiness. What you need to build are the clothing store, the general trade store, the clinic, and the bar, and it's recommended to have a healthy blend of all of the above, i.e. don't build 16 general stores, build four of each or a mix of the above. They've got to be a tier three to get the required happiness from. You're also going to need a lot of defense, over 100 defense. Literally just build the cheapest turret a ton of times as you can see I've done, and that did exactly the trick for me. I built it up to 115 or thereabouts. These two stores I'll explain a bit later on. The next thing you're going to need is a farm. Um, what I did is I grouped them up into five farms of five mutt fruit trees each. The reason I used mutt fruit is it gives a one for one yield on its return, where all of the other foods for each person working on them only produce 0 0.5 amount of food. And we need to build this food up as much as possible. You need at least 20, so you have four farmers working on the mutt fruit trees, and you'll have 20 to 24, 25 uh, produce made each day. And that's important because the more we build up now, the easier the achievement will get be to get later on. Make sure that everyone's got a bed. Make sure that the bed is indoors, preferably behind a door. A little trick you can use for boosting the happiness is to build TVs. It's not 100% confirmed if it works that I can find, but it definitely seemed to make a difference, especially in the earlier levels, because the happiness after it reaches 80, which is like an invisible cap, um, after it reaches 80, really takes a long time to go up. The other rule, so getting back onto our problems, I suppose, is do not leave the settlement at all. Stay there for the entire duration from 80 happiness all the way up to 100. Hang around the settlement in build mode. Have you at, top, at the top right there, you can see it tells you if the happiness is going up, if it's going down, or if it's uh, just not going anywhere. And this is really important. You need it to be going up at all times. So that's your first, first problem you're going to run into is there's a glitch where if you leave the settlement, the the people stop being happy in your absence it's not really supposed to happen but it does second is supply lines as you can see here i've got plenty of supply lines going all over the place at this point i'd already removed the supply lines leaving this settlement the only two connected are the ones arriving at the settlement that is very important basically those people are not going to be affected by the happiness you're giving them if they're not here which will slow the settlement's growth down Unfortunately, another problem we run into is you can't just cancel a supply line and tell the supplier to come home. You literally have to be at the settlement 
wait for them to arrive and command them to do a different job but that doesn't work so you'll see i'm going backwards and forwards here what happens is in this particular settlement the suppliers are in this area now every time in the morning what i had to do is run over to them before they got outside of the green barrier and tell them to move back into the town the reason for doing that is because of the way that fallout allocates its resources when you tell the person to work on a specific site it doesn't work it just doesn't work so what i was doing is going backwards and forwards telling the, the supplier to just move back into town and eventually the brahmin that's with him disappears once he's disappeared then you can assign him as you're building this settlement you'll notice sometimes if you move a store or delete a store or add a store all of the villages become unassigned for no reason i have no idea why it just doesn't work properly all you need to do is start slowly assigning them one at a time back onto a store if you assign lots in a row it's almost like it goes into an invisible an invisible queue and it doesn't always assign the settlers if that happens assign as many as it will take run to a bed sleep come back and try again rinse and repeat until it happens you're going to need to keep an eye on your settlers because you'll tell them to work on one job and it just won't have gone through the system for the same reasons. It, it just doesn't work very well. Take your time and eventually you'll get everybody in the right place. If you're having trouble locating your suppliers on, on the trade routes, just sleep and all of the people from that town respawn in the town as long as you stay within the confines of the town. These two stores, these are what are classed as emergency stores. Now, the reason for that is, as the settlers are farming, they start to build up a food supply for the town. When you get to about 98, 99 happiness, it's just gonna plateau right there. It's gonna stop, and you'll have no idea why. You've built loads of TVs. By the way, TVs tend to increase happiness from, from what I can find online. I've literally built an entire uh, auditorium of TVs. But for some reason, that little up arrow disappears and it can no longer be found. This is where these two emergency stores come in. It takes time, which is the same way it takes time for the settlers to be assigned to resources. It takes time for the food supply to run out, which makes sense. What you'll do is, when you hit that 98, 99 uh, plateau, you'll run over to your farm and you'll take one to two farmers off farming duty and put them onto a shop. The reason they're near to the farms is because if the food starts to dwindle and the settlement happiness goes down, you can assign them back over, wait for the food to build up, and try again. Save it before you do it, it'll save you a lot of work, like for example if you take them off the food supply and they go down straight away, it saves messing around. And to be fair, that's the majority of the problems. You need 16 tier 3 stores, a buttload of caps. Make sure that every one of your suppliers is not out on a supply route by sleeping in town until you can command them to come back into town until the Brahmin magically disappears, literally. And make sure that you have two emergency shops set up, ready to rock in case it goes wrong. Then, literally, all you're going to do is hang around in town and sleep. Rinse and repeat. Every, every few hours, in game hours, sleep for 24 hours. Just keep doing that. Sometimes save and load the game. If you save and uh, load, I find it, it hurries up the resource assignment. I don't know why, it just does. You log in and say that resource is now assigned and everyone will suddenly go back to work. Every time you, you feel like you come into a slowdown, sleep for 24 hours and make sure it's in the town that you're actually in. And you'll literally see it jump, especially between 80 to around about 96. It'll go up two to three at a time. Once it hits 95, 96, it'll slow right down and it'll go up one at a time. And it'll literally feel like you're watching paint drying. Once you've done all that, sleep over and over again until eventually it'll work. And then you'll see that when I wake up this time, it's already done. When I go outside, the happiness is at 100. And there you go. That's how it works. As you can see, uh, what I mentioned about everyone appearing in town is happening there too. Anyway, that's really it. I hope that this video has been a help to you if you've got stuck and basically searched the entirety of the internet in order to find a solution. That's literally what I was doing. I couldn't begin to thank people 
because I just I went to that many different sources, that many different forums, that many different videos. I didn't keep a record of who they were, but the people who helped me, thank you very much. Other than that, this has been another episode of From the Game Throne, and I'll see you soon.